In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a wireframe animal in Illustrator. I'm using Illustrator 2018. Make your document. This is just a regular 8.5 by 11. Then you're going to import or place an animal to use as a starting point. You will use the pen tool. If you press the letter N on the keyboard, it will go to the pen tool. Uh, I'm sorry, pencil, pencil tool. You want to make sure the outline is black right up here. It's black. If it's not black, put your mouse on that and press the shift key. Click your mouse and colors will open up there. You can click black. The fill color, there should be no fill. Right now it's white. Press the shift key, click the mouse, and select the white square with the red line across it. So that has no fill. I'm using a one-point stroke. Then you're going to make some lines, some outlines, and it, you need to experiment with this to figure out what works. Do not close your lines. Do not do something like that. That doesn't seem to work. So I'm not going to connect that. I'm going to go up here. But if you bring the line back up, you make a U shape, that can work. We will be using the blend mode and you will be blending a line with a line. So you want something next to it. I'm just going to make that line. This one I'm going to bring back up. This one I'm bringing back up. Bring that one back up and make a line there. Try a few and let's see what this looks like. I, I did the, I already did up here on the antler. I'm going to zoom out. So the next step is to lock the background with the photo. So if you click on the drop down menu of your layers palette, find the photo. It should be at the bottom. Click next to the eye icon and you will lock that layer. Because then we are going to use the select tool select all the lines go up to object go down to blend go down to blend options and you're going to click on specified steps here too you will be playing around with the number of steps 10 is selected i'm going to click ok then you go to object down to blend and make it so this is what it looks like, and I will hide the background. So that's what that looks like. The next step is to select it and copy it. Press Command C, then Command V to paste it, then go up to Object, down to Transform, click Reflect, click Preview so that you can see what it looks like, and it reflected it vertically. Click OK. And then I will just move it over to line it up. You can overlap it like that actually looks interesting. Or you can have it like that. And there is a wireframe animal. Now you can get more creative with this. I am going to undo some of these steps and show you some ways that you can get creative. So I had selected all of the lines. You can pick a few. Let's just do the top part. I'm going to go to Blend, and I'm going to change the options to 19. 
click OK. The shortcut for blend is Command-Option-B on a Mac. So that, yeah, I like that. Now I'm going to select these lines down here. I don't want the top part there. And I'm using the same number of steps. Let me hide the background. So that's what that one looks like. And again, I will copy it. Whoops. That wasn't copy. Copy, paste, object, reflect it. I like that one. I do find that I like selecting sections of lines better. Another way you can get creative with this is you can se select a section of lines and change the color. So the line's black, but if I click on that, I can make it whatever color I want. Just another option. Okay, why don't you give it a try?